All right, we are back with Dying Light 2 again. So in the last video, we we're supposed to go to the observatory to um, find the GRE database, but we also got another side mission, which is 263 meters. It's kind of far. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to go to the observatory. Holy shoot, pull your shoot. This game sucks. Oh, and I also upgraded the paraglider so I could do this. Come on. You're not going to do it? Stage right? Oh, there you go. Whee! All right, they should be over here. And I'm just gonna land there. It's no good. Oh gosh. Alright. Why so many of y'all? Ow. Alright, let's go talk to the people. You can come out. They can't bother you now. You let me go. I'll forget all about this. What happened here? When we were just working, then they attacked. Went for our supplies and cut down anyone in their way yeah but not everyone the others where are they i didn't see anyone else they must have been taken oh god maria robert they took my friends you know where they would have taken your friends the border between the butcher's turf and ours is close to here that's where the renegades have their camp would you help them please there are no peacekeepers here no one to help them i'll try thank you be careful. They might have outposts along the route. I'll guide you over the radio. My name's Casper. All right. How far? Oh, it's right there. That survivor was right. Something is really fucking wrong here. I'm at the first outpost. No sign of your friends. Well, they must have moved on toward the camp, uh, further west on Fulton Tower Road. Catch them before they get there. I'm on my way. No, uh, I don't understand. They said the renegades are dangerous, but the ceasefire lasted for years. It's as if they no longer fear the peacekeepers. What changed that? Maybe we're about to find out. I'll be in touch. <laughs> You know, I really gotta make more lockpicks. There's no one here either. They might have stopped at the overlook by the windmill on Garrison Boulevard. Hurry up. If they reach camp, it'll be much harder to rescue them. I'll catch up to them. I think I saw who was commanding those renegades. It was Elias. He was a survivor. Uh, lived in the area two years ago. He was a lawyer before the epidemic, a man of principle. Then he disappeared. There was a lot of talk about it. It disappeared? A year ago, this guy came sniffing around here. One of the butcher's men, they said. And that he worked for the GRE back in the day. He tried to talk people into going to the dam. Promised them weapons. The ones who did never came back. When I saw Elias just before, he looked strung out. Like he was on drugs. His eyes terrifying. As if there was no one left behind them. I'll look into it. As I'm fighting them right now. Oh gosh. All right, where is these survivors at? All I found were some renegades here. So they made it to the camp. There's no saving my friends now. I'll scout out the camp and see what I find. I didn't dare ask, but we can't give up. Help them, please. Mind you, I'm doing this all by myself. There ain't no scope right now. I'll fight. Look, I don't got a bow. That's actually good. Who's snitching? Alright, where's the survivors at? Just don't let them hear. Baby. Too many. Too many muscles. Quiet. What are you doing here? 
Let these people go. Oh, don't think so, PK Puppet Boy. You're gonna strangle on your strings. Curtain's coming down on all of you. But we ain't got no strings. He cut us free. What the fuck are you talking about? The Master freed our bodies and minds. We now see that each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. Now you can join us, or you can meet your maker this very day. Thanks for the offer, but you're fucking nuts. You understand nothing. Get him! Why does it always have to be a fight? And why am I taking on like how many people? This is like five to six people. Oh, more. Thank you. We'll never forget this. This way, there's a side gate. Hello? It's Aiden. Your friends are safe and sound. Thank you, Aiden. We are all deeply in your debt. The boomstick? Self-made gun created from scraps. You tell me I can shoot. Well, I'm not going to shoot it now. One upwards on vertical set. Oh, yes, definitely need that. All right, now we're going to do the main quest. Um, Yeah, let's go. Why is the audio still messed up? What you mean minefield? What? You know what? Looks like we're finally here. Luan? Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. <coughs> what the? Okay then. Kinda learned how to fly this a little bit. Not a pro or anything, but definitely know how to control it better. Whee! Hello? Oh, I can just walk in here. All right. They've already attacked two of our camps. For everything we can to arm you, need it real easily. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Ready, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Aider's God. in really bad shape. Him. Take hear him me. to the infirmary. Don't Summon the medics. Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. 
Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Let's go check up on Ader. Even though we're kind of enemies, still kind of best friends. No, Stephen. My filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I... People here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Let's go help him out. Because why not? Do a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I cannot parkour in this area. Better get shopping before I sing a sea shanty. What? Can you, can you not tax? Because I'm broke right now. A dollar? You gonna give me a dollar for this? This game sucks. Yes. Don't, don't say yes, there it is. She gave me a dollar. I could buy Arizona. All right, let's go talk to her. It's actually not that far. Oh, never mind. It's 500 meters. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers then you've come to the wrong healer get out haven't you all made her suffer enough and now those renegades there'd been a ceasefire for years they left us alone and then all of a sudden they went mad where were you when they were taking over the island for the first time we really needed you and what you didn't come and they're gone I just took care of him. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need. But I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. 
It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this. I assure you. Small petals, small petals, small petals. What's that? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. Yeah. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Small petals, please, small petals. Close in toxic sludge. I hate when a game does this to me. Small petals, small petals, close. Big petals are poisonous. Ow. Alright, let's go to bed. We're on a way to try to save him. Remember, small petals. Why is there so many of these guys? Small petals? I don't care about you, Bolter. If you're gonna make it easy on me, I will kill you. Why am I doing this at night time? How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep no. that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I, I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. <laughs> when it gets you in that moment, that's crazy. I knew what the right answer was, but still. I'm glad he's alive. Alright, let's go talk to Jack. Aiden can't be mad at me. I saved his life, right? Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. 
We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack, Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Who are you? Dispatcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. He doesn't have time for you. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Max sent me. <laughs> no one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just... Juan. Get with the program. Besides, he ain't here. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supply of turf now. Mind your manners. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Aiden! Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And 
Good luck if you do find him. All right, let's go find 400 meters. Oh my goodness. Why is everybody so far from me? Whoosh. Sorry, the, the noise didn't come out, so I made it. So Jack just um, called me and said um, he's glad that Ador's alive. I did help him. The only problem is he knows that basically I blew up the entire... What? That I blew up the basically the windmill and they became my enemies for him at one point. But I saved his life. Maybe he could see the difference. This is gonna be terrible. I just know it. I'm trying, man. That's all I could do. One more time, Aiden. One more time. One more time. Too late. Okay. And my name's. I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? All right, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army? Provided with weapons and clothing. A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Could just beat his ass. Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch.
Why are people so difficult? What the f I pulled the purse? Okay. Wee! Oh, there's a vent over here. Double wee! I'm not gonna make it. Why is there so many places that's so far away from me? To be fair. To be fair, this is a nice view. Imagine just living here normally, like in normal life. Look at this view. Beautiful. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan, I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't, but if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Oh, mission first. You know, it's kind of peaceful, just gliding through the air. What? No, you don't get to do that. Oh, sh <laughs> You gotta be f kidding me. He is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. Working romance. Bad outcomes. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. 
For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. Got it. I'm gonna close that for y'all too. I'm not gonna go behind Matt's back. Plus, I'm already in the battle rap because of destroying the windmill and taking out the power. Killing a lot of PKs, to be honest. We did a lot of that. Seriously, man. Throwing stuff at me? Oh, that's why. Ow. Anybody else want to spit at me? Why are y'all chasing me? It's daylight. Go inside. Die, nah, please. Thank you. Y'all next. What? Why? 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 Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. Hey, you're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Well, at least it's daylight outside. Oh, that's a memorial. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, weird. Grow up. Shit. What's going on? Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Walter are brewing. Now. Find out. You reach. Give me a sign you're alive. Are you there? Found your men. Some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say. They're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies. Both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. They were totally berserk. It's crazy. I know. Something must have happened to them. 
They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. Found him. Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hid them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. <laughs> Damn. Aiden? What's going on? Oh, this is trippy. Oh, oh gosh. What? Oh, I'm fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Had to take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I, uh, the one? Get lost. Hello, how you doing? It's nighttime, great. That's finally good. Let me get my hundred from you. You didn't drop no money, you broke. Oh well, that's more like it. Hey, Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Merci, Eden. You did your job well. Unfortunately, Sebastian didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Poor boy. I so wanted to show him my father's shop. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegade- Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Have to go all the way back there. That's 600 meters. Oh goodness! All right, let's go talk to him. I right, good. Mission accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. 
I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? <sighs> Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? You've got to pay to play, sweet thing. Nasty. Well, I'm going to call the video right here. Um, in the next episode, we are going to go to that big building and try to get the power back on so we can basically have radio contact with Old Vildor and also throughout the whole city. We did a lot in this episode. We saved Editor's life. I was so nervous doing that. We got the lamp so we can actually go in there and hopefully we don't die because apparently it's zombies from wall to wall, which is going to be so much fun, but so terrible at the same time. But with all said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day like always and stay up, my friends.